man. Whoa. Okay. He was going over a hundred right there for a while. Hey everyone, Permit Quiz Liz here. Today we've got something a little different. We're going to take a look at a live police pursuit and I will be giving you commentary while also scoring the driving like it's a DMV driving test. Just a quick refresher, if you get one critical driving error or auto fail, like disobeying a sign or signal or doing a dangerous maneuver on your test, you don't go home with a license. Also, if you make 16 minor mistakes, so like things that are technically wrong, but not too dangerous, like making a not so smooth stop or only signaling for 50 feet instead of 100 feet. Anyway, 16 of those and you also fail. So let's dive in and see what this driver gets right and more importantly, what they get wrong. Alrighty, let's get it started. Okay, so we're following this white truck right here. It's approaching a red stop. And the turn, okay, all right. So, made a right turn at a red stop, or red stop, a red light. Um, when you're gonna make a right turn at a red light, you wanna treat it like a stop sign. So you wanna come to a full and complete stop, you wanna look both ways for traffic and for pedestrians as well and then if it's safe then you take the turn um obviously it would be a fail for this guy because he didn't do that and then apart from that he didn't go from the correct lane the correct lane would be the rightmost lane and when you make that right turn you want to take it onto or end it on the rightmost lane as well start from the rightmost lane end on the rightmost lane uh, this guy, I think he was in the left turn lane and then swung super wide into the outer left lane. It was all wrong. All of it was an auto fail. Let's keep watching. Oh, he got close to that car right there. That could be a point off. And he's on, yeah, he's on the wrong side of the road. I mean, it doesn't take an expert to know <laughs> that that would be an automatic fail. Do not drive on the wrong side of the road. Ooh, okay. All right, hold up. So a lot just happened right now. So first of all, he started speeding a lot. He was going the speed that is typically acceptable on a California freeway. Um, and then he hit that medium barrier. All of it would be a fail. The speeding, the going against traffic, the hitting the medium barrier. Don't do any of that, you guys. That'd be an automatic fail right there. He's still on the wrong side of the road. All right, okay, he's back on the right side of the road. That's something he, I think he just drove, if I saw that correctly, I think he, there's two lanes and he drove in between those two cars, meaning he drove on the two lanes. The automatic fail, fail, just fail. Ooh, okay, all right. Another thing right there. He drove onto the curb, hit the curb and then drove on it. You hit the curb on the test, that counts as striking an object, automatic fail. And I mean, needless to say, driving on the curb, also an automatic fail. And he's still really close to these cars. He's getting very dangerously close. Hope he doesn't hit anybody. I think he went, yeah, he went back onto the wrong side of the road. Dangerous speed as well. Oh, oh my God. He almost hit that car. Okay, all right, he's back on the right side of the road. That's something. A win is a win. We'll take it. Ooh, man. Whoa, okay, he was going over a hundred right there for a while. Uh, I don't even know if there's any highways, at least in the US that allows that speed limit. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, yeah, I don't think anywhere you're allowed to go over 100. Don't, especially on a city street, this is Buena Park, California. I, I know for a fact you definitely cannot go over 100 there. Oh. Thankfully, there aren't any cars around. 
Well, there are the cars, never mind. Ooh, okay, so right there. Uh, oh, okay, all right, we had a few things happen. He made a lane change. He did not perform SMOG. Now, for those of you who don't know, SMOG is an acronym that we like to use with our students uh, to help you remember what to do when you're gonna make a lane change. So when you're gonna make a lane change, you signal first, you check your mirrors, you check over your shoulder or your blind spot, and then you go. Um, he did not do SMOG before that lane change. And then he went into the center turn lane which also counts as a lane change. That would be another moment for you to do smog and he did not do that. Automatic fails. All of those things are automatic fails. Okay, and, and he drove in the center turn lane for over 200 feet. Uh, the most you wanna drive in the center turn lane is 200 feet. And when he came out of it, he didn't do smog. So again, going into the center turn lane and coming out of it, you would treat it as a lane change. You would perform smog. He's driving on two lanes right now. That's not okay. He took that right turn. Uh, I'll pause it right here. 236, okay. He took that right turn at a decent speed, but he took it from the wrong lane. Um, if you go back a little bit, let me go back actually myself, just a little. All right, I'm stopped at 231. Um, you can see that there are two lanes that allow you to go straight. However, the rightmost lane is the only lane that allows you to make a right turn. And this guy took the right turn from the lane that is only allowed to go straight. So let's not do that. And then he's making that right turn eh, without a signal. He took a right turn without a signal. Just lane changing all around without doing smog. At least he hasn't hit anybody. Uh, okay, all right, we're in a parking lot now. Okay, we're in a parking lot. It's going pretty fast for a parking lot. The pedestrians! <sighs> okay, he didn't hit pedestrians, that was close. Uh, all right, let's stop here at 313. So when you're exiting a parking lot, you want to make, you, you want to treat like a stop sign. So right here, you can actually see that on the uh, ground, it's painted stop. So you want to stop either at where the, the limit line is painted for you, or if there isn't a limit line, then you would stop right before you reach the sidewalk. Um, even if there isn't a stop sign, remember, you still got to stop. And you want to do a traffic check. You want to look both ways for any cars and also for any pedestrians. And then you, in this case, if you're going to take, I think you're only allowed to, yeah, in this case, you're only allowed to make a right turn. Again, ideally end it on the rightmost lane. But if we keep playing, yeah, he's swinging wide. He's going to the leftmost lane. Swinging wide to leftmost lane would be a point off right there. Speeding on stop, going into the left turn lane without doing smog. You know, okay, he took that left turn at a decent speed. We'll give him that one. I think he's in a neighborhood now. Yeah, it seems like he's in a neighborhood. All right, that left turn without stopping. That is, okay, we'll pause for a second here at 351. So first of all, driving in a residential neighborhood most residential neighborhoods will be 25 miles per hour, uh, unless otherwise indicated. Um, he was going something in the 50s right there. Automatic fail. That's super dangerous to go that fast, especially in a neighborhood. Um, there could be cars coming out of their driveways. There could be children playing on the street. Um, and then when he approached that stop sign, he didn't do what he was supposed to do, which was stop and signal and check for cars, the whole shebang. So fail fail for the speed fail for missing that stop sign oh it's just it's i'm glad nobody's been hurt i know i already said that but i'm glad nobody's been hurt this is really dangerous all right okay that turn from that uncontrolled t intersection 
was okay. He just forgot his signal. But apart from that, it wasn't the worst. And another missed stop sign right there. Another automatic fail. The turn was a good speed. Okay, so another thing I want to point out here, I'm stopped at 437. Um, he was on the rightmost lane, and that rightmost lane, I don't know if you were able to see those arrows. Those arrows indicated that that lane was going to merge. It was going to close up. When you're in a lane that's about to merge, you treat that also like a lane change. You would uh, see the arrows and know, okay, I've got to do smog. i got to signal, check my mirrors and over my shoulder, and merge when it's safe to do so. He didn't do any of it. He is just all about changing lanes and not even signaling, nothing. And his speed. It's just speeding everywhere. It's on two lanes right now. That's not good. Oof, just drifting around everywhere. Okay, he's squeezing past those cars. Okay. Uh, all right, let's stop here at four, 540. Um, so when you're squeezing past some cars, uh, that could be just a point off, depending on how dangerous or safe enough it can be. It could be either an automatic fill or a point off. Obviously, this guy is going pretty fast, and he just got lucky that he didn't hit anybody. Um, and he made that right turn. The turn itself was at a good speed, but remember, we want to end right turns on the rightmost lane. He swung wide to the far left lane. That would be considered a point off, but because he didn't signal or check for oncoming or cross traffic or any pedestrians, then that would make it a fail. Struggling with his lane positioning. If you're struggling with your lane positioning, that that's pretty normal for beginners. Okay, I'll stop right here at 550. Um, it's pretty normal for beginners to struggle with their lane positioning, especially as you're getting used to the size you are uh, when you're driving a car. Um, if you take lessons with us at Drivers at Direct, I know that all of my amazing coworkers, my amazing fellow instructors, they're really good at helping out our students figure out that lane positioning. It comes down to just being patient with yourself and uh, taking your time and figuring, and figuring out how how big you are in that car. Um, another thing I just noticed right now, again, center turn lane, he did not signal nothing. Remember you guys, that center turn lane, we're treating it like a lane change. Oh, all right, oh, okay, 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 okay. Let's stop here at 556. So he just went from the center turn lane, shroop, all the way to the far right lane. Now, if you ever need to do something kind of like that where you need to make consecutive lane changes that's okay to have to do that but make sure you do it safely and the safe way to do it is to take those lane changes one at a time we don't just signal ones and check our blind spot ones we do it for each lane that we have to go over so take your time with that you never just want to run through all of those lanes that can be extremely dangerous that would definitely be an automatic fail on the test he just ran a red light, if I saw that correctly. Which would be a fail. You run the red light, that'd be a fail. Okay, he definitely ran a red light right there. You guys, don't run red lights. Lane changes, not signaling, fails. <laughs> driving on the wrong side of the road again. Oh 
boy. Is he misunderstood turn lane? I think he was. No, he was just on the wrong side of the road. Oh, he is? Okay. I'm confused. He's going so fast, I can't even tell what's happening at this point. Oh, man. Oh, boy. All right, it is a miracle he has not crashed into anybody yet. Oh, man, he's just cheating death everywhere. <laughs> That speed is so dangerous. Ooh, ooh, he almost hit that car right there. What was that, 727? I think he almost hit that car right there. That was super duper dangerous. I'm telling you, this guy's just cheating death. All right, we got the police showing up now. Ooh, okay, whoa. Even like that, I think they still dodged that little gray car right there. All right, he's in the parking lot. All right, we'll stop here at... 739. Um, that's not where you're supposed to park your car. Needless to say. And um, obviously he did a lot of fails. I'll just finish off by saying that if for any reason a police officer is behind you, they turn their lights on and they want you to pull over, don't go into a crazy highway police pursuit. Just cooperate. You see those lights turn on? Go ahead and find a safe spot to pull over um, and, and just cooperate with the police officers. Whew, okay, what a ride. Remember, real life is not a game and your driving skills can make or break your road safety. Stay sharp out there because the fewer auto fails you rack up, the closer you get to that win. To see a full video on how to pass and how not to fail your driving test, check out the link to the video from my homeboy instructor Jay down below. Also, if you want to catch the entire police pursuit from start to finish, check out the link to KTLA's official video below as well. Until next time, drive smart and stay safe out there.